everything he puts down. He probably done forgot about basketball. He probably done forgot more about basketball than I, than I learned. And I'm just trying to, you know, follow him every step and just try to get something out of it. He said he wasn't going to cry, but he uh, did. I knew he was going to cry, man. <laughs> I knew he was going to cry. That's like me saying, all right, we're going to go to the national championship. We're going to win. I ain't going to cry. I'm just going to be happy. I was gonna say, that's why you said you ain't gonna talk. Come on, <laughs> man, you, you gotta cry. I'm like, hugs, just let it out, baby. Let it out, hugs. We all here for you, man. Let it out. Hugs really says he hadn't thought much about the 800 wins, but as players, as your teammates, was this on your all's mind to get it, this 800? It really, it really wasn't. Not until like hours before, like the game, two days before the game, or something like that. Uh, that's when we started talking about, like, yeah, come on, man, let's do it for hugs. Let's do it for hugs. Uh, even before the game today, we was kind of like, come on, let's do it for Hugs. But Hugs never brung up like, come on, let's go get this 800 win. And he never, ever, ever brung up 800 to me. So. Having said that, how, how big is, is it to be, have been a part of his 800th win? It's, it's big. It's big, man. It's, it's something that you're going to walk in here 50 years later and, you know, see my name right there on that roster. <laughs> I'm right there on that roster. I'm going to keep the hat. Looks good. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Do you consider some of the coaches that he's with, you know, Krzyzewski, Beheim, Ruff, Smith, I mean, these are the big names ever. You play for one of those guys. Yeah. And to be honest, it's the to me, is the best is the guy I wanted to play for. It's the guy that I would fit to play for because he ain't he's not going to get somebody, oh yeah, he's number one in the country. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go recruit him, you know. He kinda just builds his players and other than building players, he built grown men. You know, playing for hugs, you face a lot of adversity. Is either you stick through it, through the fire, or you know, you you shy out of it. How did he change you as a person? You said he has changed you. How so? He he showed me he showed me that you know everything is in a game. Everything is in a game. I I tend to just joke around a lot because life is too short. I just like being happy. I like you know that's just how I am. And he just showed me that you know when you on the court, it's kind of it's time to be serious and mature practices get you get you farther than playing around practices to be honest. You get a lot done when you are being mature between the lines. Uh, you're out in North Dakota. The first time he's I don't know, the first time you met him, I guess. What did you think? Like four. Like, oh man, what's this guy gonna be like? Is he's a six four streaming guy on the sideline? I think, I think the first thing he said to me was like, you know you're gonna have to play defense, right? <laughs> and I was like, oh. you know, back then I, I wasn't really into defense like that, but I respected him for for being one hundred percent with me. I knew that I was gonna have to earn everything uh, here at West Virginia, and that's kind of something I want. I don't really want nobody to give me anything. I kind of want to earn it. 